Good morning. Happy Monday. I um, wanted to talk to you guys today about faces, edges, and vertices or vertexes. So that's going to be today's note. And I, start, I start, thought that I'd start with this wonderful image of an edge. Not this kind of edge. That's not the kind of edge we're going to talk about. But do you guys know what this is from? Probably not. Maybe, maybe, maybe some of you know. This guy standing on the cliff there is named Alex Hanold, and he's one of the best rock climbers in the world. He is really famous for climbing mountains or climbing some of the biggest and most difficult rock faces in the world um, with no rope, no gear, just just basically a chalk bag and his body, and he just climbs it, and he knows it. He studies it, but it's a really dangerous thing, but he's also um, incredibly talented and, and very prepared. But he climbs. This is in Yosemite National Park. So this valley here, you're seeing the valley. This is Yosemite Valley, and he's climbing up the side of a uh, cliffside called Half Dome. So check it out. Look it up. It's amazing. So look it up. Look up. Not You can look up him if you want. But he was famous for a movie called um, – not movie, but a documentary – called Free Solo. It came out a couple years ago, Free Solo. I think it's on Netflix or maybe it's on Disney. With I don't know if it's on one of those, but it's great. So Alex Hanold and um, Free Solo. So that's an edge. Look at him standing on the edge. So he climbed up this probably a couple thousand feet to get to that point, and he still had to climb up the rest of the cliff to get to the top. So kind of incredible. Um, more faces. Here's, here's faces. Look at this. Faces. This is... Uh, not this kind of face is what we're going to talk about, but here's some faces. There's my face this winter with a little hockey dent injury. It looks worse than it was, but I uh, got hit by a puck while we were playing outdoor hockey. Um, I came up and just scratched my nose and left some blood. And then my daughter with her uh, tiger face right there. So pretty great. And then Leah also in this picture with uh, – it says – I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to move myself. It says Harry Potter and Potter, and she drew a little cat there. So faces, right? So not that kind of face, but I thought we'd do some faces. And then I even have, let's see, oh, I think that's it for today. So anyway, our note card. Our note card is going to be, let me um, get it brought up. Our note card is going to be this one. So, whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so today's thing, faces and edges, right? Faces and edges. So the idea is with every 3D shape, and many of you I think know this, but I just want you to have the vocabulary um, kind of down. I want you to understand when we talk about faces, edges, and vertices, what we're talking about. And I'd like you to write this in your notebook. So open up your notebook, write this down. Um, I know that drawing the 3D shape, we've worked on this before, but you know this idea of a parallelogram here and then another parallelogram there, and then another one to connect them, all trying to make the lines parallel will allow you to draw this 3D shape. But I want you to draw this shape. If you can't draw it, well, if you can't draw it, you could, um, whoa, what happened? That's not what I wanted to do. Oh my gosh. Let's see here. Okay, there's um, that thing. Now I got to go back here. All right, there we go. Um, so on this um, 3D shape that you're drawing, I'd like you to basically draw in. We're just doing vocabulary and we're writing it down. A face is a flat surface. So I show that in blue, right? That's the face right here. This top part is a face on this rectangular prism. A, an edge is where two faces meet. So wherever two faces meet and come together, they make a line. And that's an edge. So right down here, I wrote edge, straight line. Face is a surface. And then a vertex is a point where three or more edges meet. So I put little dots here. It's a point, right? So a, a, a vertex is a point. And you have to have, in order to have a point on a 3D figure, you have to have at least three edges coming together. And often with some, some figures, you'll have even more coming together. So that would be a vertex. So we have faces, edges, and you don't say vertexes. It's strange because it's a strange word. You say vertices. So you see it up here? Faces, edges, and vertices. So vertices is the plural form of vertex. So if I saw one, it would be a vertex. If I have many of them or I'm talking about multiple ones, I'd say vertices. Okay? So a vertex is a corner, an edge is a straight line, and a face is a surface. If you want to pause this for a moment so everybody can write this down, um, that would be fine. If you feel like um, you want to come back at the end, let's see, um, what minute am I at? We're at about four and a half minutes, so you can go back to that point and uh, kind of like um, take the notes there. But this needs to be in your notebook and turned in. So, And then the next thing we're going to do um, is look at this. So what I want you to do today, you're 
um, kind of exercise. You're going to have a Khan Academy assignment on this, which we haven't had Khan. Last week, we didn't have any Khan. So this week, we will have Khan. So look for that. So I'd like you to start that today. That'll be assigned. Um, there's a Khan Academy assignment on faces, edges, and the vertices. Um, but I'd also like you to look at this um, diagram, and I'm going to give you a document. I'd like you to get answers to this. So I'll put this in. Um, this will be your practice. I'd like you to um, draw or write down what each of these are, right? Square, pyramid, cube. We're going to put a big X through this. This is not what I call a cuboid. We've never talked about cuboids. We're going to call this, and I think you should know this, we're going to call this a rectangular prism. So let's fix that right now because we go by rectangular prism, cuboid. I don't know about that. I'm sure you can call it that, but I don't see a point. Um, all right, so rectangular prism. And then we have a triangular prism and a pentagonal prism. Now, notice what the root words are. Like, for instance, pentagon, pentagonal prism, right? So that means that top shape has five sides, right? You can see the five edges there are five sides. So when we count up the edges of something or the faces of something or the vertices on something, we have to be careful because we're not just counting what we see on the outside of it or the surface of it. You also got to think about the backside of it. Right. So much like we've been doing geometry this whole time, if I want to count like how many, uh, let's see, how many edges I have on this rectangular prism, I'd want to go through and I want to say, OK, well, edges, I got one here. I've got another one here. I've got another one back there and another one here. I've counted the four that go around. Right. But then there's also these ones on the edge. So over here, let's change the color really quick. I've got one, two, three and four. So that gives me four plus four. And then over here, I've got another uh, different four. Let's go to some pink and we can say one, two, three, and four. So I could say the edges in this rectangular prism would be 12. So I'd write in here 12 edges, right? And I want you to basically count stuff out and see if you can figure out for each of these shapes, how many there are on the whole thing. Now, I expect that you're going to make some um, it'll take you some of them you have to try again. Like the pentagon might be a little tricky or the square pyramid might be a little tricky. Think about what's behind each part of it, right? Think about if you were holding it up, what it would look like. Now, number of faces on a rectangular prism. I expect that you can look at a box and figure that out. That one's not so hard. Faces, I think, are the easiest thing to figure out. And then number of vertices might be the hardest to figure out, you know? So when you do vertices, you want to basically come in here. Let's go with a uh, yellow. And we want to kind of look at all the parts where things come that's not a very good color all the parts where something comes together let's go with green instead maybe it's gonna be more visible i see a vertices there or a vertex there another vertex there another vertex there and another one there and then over here one two three and four i think that's it so we could say over here number of vertices eight vertices right so i can write that in so your job is to figure this out for all of them. See if you can figure it out and do the Khan Academy today. All right, my friends. Like I said, this will be put into a document that you can use to try, write it down. I'd like you to um, write down the name of each one in your notebook. I'd like you to set up a little chart. I'd like you to do a tiny sketch of those. They don't have to be perfect, just a quick sketch. If you want to trace them right from the screen, you can. And then I'd like you to answer how many faces, edges, and vertices there are for each one. And how many faces are on a, on a rectangular prism? I think you all know this. What right here? How many faces are on a rectangular prism? I'll wait. Pause. Somebody tell your teacher. All right. It's going to be six faces. I think you all knew that already. That's really easy. All right, so we've got six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. I also am interested in, is there a relationship? Hmm, those are all kind of multiples of, of a two. They're all even numbers. That's kind of interesting. Okay, anyway, that's awesome. Have a great uh, day, Khan Academy, this exercise. And then tomorrow, oh, I forgot to tell you, tomorrow, you need to bring uh, a box. Find a box from your pantry, um, like a uh, you know, like a food box, something that's got like light, you know, made of the the heavier, not heavy cardboard, but the lighter cardboard, you know, like a a box from um, you know, mac and cheese or a box from like you know, crackers or a cereal box, something like that. Find that you're gonna need it for tomorrow. Cereal box might be a little big, so maybe something a little smaller, maybe something like you know, this big.
I don't know. I think I'm going to use a Swiss cake rule box. You know what those are? They're kind of like a tissue box, something like that, that area. You need that for tomorrow for the project, for a little project we're going to do. All right, kids, have a great day today. Uh, happy Monday. Coming down to the end of the year. So what are we at? Week? I think we have four more real weeks of school left. So four more like work weeks. So I hope everything is good. I hope you're keeping up and have a great day. Bye.